This tutorial will walk you through how to use CodeMonkey Lessons. To begin, click on the class that you would like to use CodeMonkey Lessons with. You will be automatically taken to the Lessons tab. On the right side of the page is the course's selection. This is where you can choose the lesson you want to teach. Currently, CodeMonkey Lessons is only available for Coding Adventure Parts 1, 2, and 3. Underneath, you will find the name of the course you chose and the corresponding lesson plans. The lesson you are currently teaching will be marked in brown. On the right side, underneath Gordo, you will find the lesson plan for the lesson you are teaching. Click on the green button to download the lesson plan. We highly recommend reviewing the lesson before class time so you are familiar with the content. In the shortcuts menu on the right side, you will find helpful tools such as links to playtime challenges, informative files, and the lesson status. If you scroll down, you will see three sections underneath the lesson. These three sections, Introduction, Playtime, and Debrief, correspond with how each lesson plan is broken up content and time-wise. All lessons are 45 minutes long, but the amount of time each section takes varies. In most of the lessons, you will see walkthroughs, which are parts in the lesson where the teacher goes over specific challenges with the class. For easy navigation, we provided links to the challenges that each walkthrough covers. Now let's start the lesson mode by clicking on Begin Lesson. While in lesson mode, students will not be able to access any CodeMonkey activities. Here is how students' screens will look during lesson mode. As you can see, all activities will be locked for them. During lesson mode, you will see a yellow bar on the top of your screen. You can click on the classroom dashboard to return to the lessons tab. At this point, you can conduct your introduction using the lesson plan. When you are ready for playtime, click on Assign Challenges. Playtime will enable your students to play the challenges relevant to the lesson. Your students will need to refresh their pages to gain access to the playtime challenges. In case a student completes playtime early, they can always play scale mode challenges. Once students complete the challenges and playtime is over, click on End Playtime and students will be blocked from the challenges once again. You can then continue to the debriefing part of the lesson. Once you are finished, click on End Lesson to exit lesson mode and return students to free play. After you end the lesson, the lesson status will be marked as complete and the lesson number will be filled in green. You can always uncheck Mark Complete if you wish for the, les for the lesson to remain unmarked. Please note that within two hours of beginning a lesson, the lesson will be ended automatically and marked as complete. This is to prevent students from getting blocked in case you forget to end the lesson. However, if you wish to limit student progress so they cannot go beyond the current lesson, you can do so in the Progress tab. Go to the Progress tab, click on Limit Progress. Here you can choose Limit Progress based on last lesson taught. This means that now students who log in outside of class time will not be able to play past the last challenge in that lesson. However, they will still be able to play skill mode. Thank you for watching this video on CodeMonkey Lessons. Like this video if you found it helpful.